to you. Yes, you do. And then you're okay. It's not like you're screaming because you're upset. Okay, now we're gonna answer one more question. Okay, there we go. My biggest fear with flying with London is that he's gonna make a ton of noise on the airplane. Mm -hmm. It's one thing to sit at home and for him to make his, all that noise, because you're used to it, but I remember flying and kids making noise on the airplane before we and were him parents. being aggravated no. at those. You were never aggravated, never aggravated at the kids, but very like, oh God, I wanna try to sleep. Because you get on the flight and every, you know, people have their own thing and you're so tired and you're like, oh, I'm gonna go to sleep. And then you see a parent sitting next to you with a lap baby and you're like, oh. No, and now goes. we're those parents. All right, we are off to Boston, London's first flight, our first flight with a baby. Luckily, that little guy is asleep. So we are going to Boston for Monsters of Hip Hop. It's a huge dance convention. We've been teaching on it for almost 10 years now. And we're a little nervous because we're not going in like on a 45 minute flight to Vegas and we're going across country. The mother of all trips, that's where we're going. Uh oh, what's wrong? Oh my god, he, he doesn't want to go too soon. He did not want to be woken up. He's like, Mom, what's up, baby boy? Sleeping. Well, oh, you got your little winter hat on. Go to the east. You're ready to go to the snow. Oh, he is adorable, mommy, with you and your both of you guys and your plaids. Yeah. Daddy, don't have no plaid on. Okay, there goes your shirt. Okay, and so much for your plaid shirt. Okay. I can save it, I can save it. There's no holding back. Like if something goes wrong and we made a mistake and forgot to pack something we needed, we're stuck for five hours without that essential item on the plane. And that's what I think I'm freaked out about, is just making sure I don't forget anything that I'm gonna need. Did you, uh, did you uh, lock that back door? Yes. You went back yes. out there, right? Yes. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with him. Do you know you're gonna check? He don't like to be told what to do. Let's see what time it is. We were supposed to leave at what time? 10? 10. Well, now we're really late. Let's go. Are you excited? <gasps> we found out traveling with London was really simple in the car. Pull over when you want. You Two. can pack as much as you want. The car seat's there. Now we are going on our first airplane flight. I think that normal people on the plane that don't have children, who don't understand, which I was also one of them, who don't get the steps that it takes to get you there, they're, I mean, they're like, oh yeah, there's a baby, whatever. Going through security is not fun when you have a baby. And they love to go through the breast milk. It's just a whole lot of extra. Already going through TSA is a pain in the butt. Now imagine going with a kid, car seat, all of his junk, and mommy's breast milk. Approximately four hours and 37 minutes. We'll be flying at an altitude of 37,000 feet. Taking off, we had planned to feed London right as we're taking off. We planned it to the minute. Okay, here's four hours. He usually eats every four hours. We get on the plane. We sit at the gate for an extra half hour. We sit on the tarmac for an extra 15 minutes. Now we're 45 minutes. He starts screaming. Stuff everywhere. <laughs> okay, don't get fussy now, dog. Don't get fussy. Let's pay attention to what you have. I'm getting so mad at the airline. I'm and like, I don't want to. Go! Why are we sitting here? Yeah. <laughs> My like, baby's please. going crazy. You said we're taking off at this time. We can't be late because the baby is hungry. And so it starts things off a little bit, you know, a little bit crazy. The good news is, as soon as we took off, he stopped crying instantly and ate for the next 15 minutes. Yeah. It was great. However, I think the air pressure is getting to him in a way that we never anticipated. As soon as we get up in the air, <laughs> he poops. When I say he blows it out, he blows. it's like coming out all over him. Tab is like, ah! And, what and she's screaming. Everybody in first class is like, what? why is the lady screaming over there? <laughs> and so I grab my newspaper. I throw it all underneath her so that it doesn't get all over her. So then I start to feel dampness on my legs, which means it's out of his gear into my legs. And so I, I pick him up and it's all starting to go up his back. And just, we, all we were doing was counting down the seconds till the seatbelt sign went off and we could take him to the bathroom. Yeah, luckily the flight attendant was like, yeah, go, go change. <laughs> yeah. It's probably like, that smell is horrifying. <laughs> this is insane. I kid you not, London, you have never peed this much back to back. You just peed as I put your diaper on, like seconds. Just in seconds. 
Um, so I guess, I guess all I can say is that come prepared when you fly with enough diapers. When you came back, he was, he was smiling, he yeah. was happy, and I was like, oh, okay, nice. You laid, you sat him down, he went to sleep pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, okay, he's asleep, things will go great. I'm gonna watch a movie now. And uh, when we get down, it was really exciting because the stewardess knew that it was London's first flight, so they came out and the captain came out and they gave him his first pair of wings and a certificate for his first flight. So it felt official, which was really cool. And then... Uh, and you know, a lot of people were saying on the way out, a lot of the first class people, oh, really good baby, he flew so well. Yeah. And that made us feel good. Proud. I was like, we were like uh, proud parents. We're like, yeah, that's my son, he was good. They didn't really witness the pooping portion of it. You know, we kept that to our two little seats, but the rest of the time he was good. And now it's time to deal with the next thing, which is the cold that's in Boston. I mean, he's been this summer baby, he's been in shorts, and he's been, I mean, it's been so beautiful in LA, and now here we come to the snow. Monsters of Hip Hop started about 10 years ago, and it's the first and only mm -hmm. all hip hop dance convention. Yeah. It's amazing, the best dancers from around the country go there. And we're excited because if we're gonna go to the East Coast and we're gonna make that trip, why not with Monsters of Hip Hop? Because this little guy needs to be around friends and family. <laughs> hey everybody, comment below. If you leave some comments and give us your advice, we might learn a few things. And if you like the show, please let me know. My mom and dad are working really, really hard to do this show. And they're, 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 they love me. <laughs> Watch Megan continue her inspiring journey as she meets her new trainer and takes on her first big workout. Get shaken with Nappy Tabs and Baby London as they head behind the scenes of the Disney Channel hit, Shake It Up. Women's Health Fitness Editor Jen Ader has the five secrets you need to become stronger and faster. Get ready to sweat with these killer exercises designed to trim the fat. Subscribe for more health tips. Your body will thank you.